Hey everybody, welcome to Time Live. I think we've decided on the name and I hope you like it. So today we are talking big hair. We have a date night or a big night out coming up. So what goes with a big night out? Big, awesome, cool curls. That's how I did that last time. I, I ended it like that and I was like, what was I talking about? But anyway, I'm excited about big, awesome, cool curls today. So I hope you guys are too. We put out a little teaser yesterday about what look we're doing today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I started a little bit already so that you didn't have to sit through the whole curling, but I'll show you the technique and how to do it. Don't forget to comment because we have these awesome zip time bags that, uh, that we are giving away for comments and we're also giving away, of course, this iron at the end. And then we also have this little zip time bag and What's in there? Oh, someone's getting closer. So, okay, the bottles are getting close. So that means they're filling them. So they're filling them soon and we are so excited for those to come in. So um, if anyone can, our first comment can be, you know, if, if you know where I was trying to quote from a movie when I said, someone's closer. Okay, so if you know that movie, comment below to win some zip time bags. Okay, so since the holidays ugh, are creeping in. <laughs> let's do some big hair. Okay, let's get started. So I've done a few curls and today we're um, stacking curls. These don't look pretty right now because they're kind of mixed in because I wanted you to be able to see the top back being curled so that we can talk about that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and section my hair. So when I section my hair, I like to section like this because I think Anything that takes more time, I don't want anything to do with it. And for me, like clipping up my hair takes more time. You can choose to do it however you like, but this is how I choose to do it. So I like to show you guys because I want you to be able to cut down your time curling so you can spend your life living it instead of getting ready for it. That's Kendrick's thing. Kendrick's good saying. Kendrick's here again today, my brother. He's over here somewhere. That's my saying. <laughs> I'm recycling it, and I'm proud of recycling it. You can it. have it. Thank you. You're so, welcome. okay. So what we're going to do, I've prepped my section. Today I'm taking smaller sections for this because I want um, small curls stacking on top of each other to get the style bigger, okay? So I have my small section. I'm prepping it forward. I've brushed out this section. You don't have to brush out every section, but that one, since I've been tossing my hair all over, I wanted to brush out. Okay, and then we go in, guidelines to the scalp, and roll forward. So I'm going to rotate this one the normal way, so you can see. Um, by the way, this is my right hand, because we are using a mirror image with the FaceTime, so I can see myself talking to you, otherwise I wouldn't know what I'm doing with my hair. Okay, so that curl went away from my face, and then this next one I'm taking is going to go towards my face. So, when I did away from my face, you'll notice I was up over my head like this. When I'm curling towards my face, I go in underneath, rotate out, and then move. You can go forward or out in different directions, and then it'll curl towards your face, okay? So we're going to stack the curls and rotate them in different directions. So the simple difference, uh, easy way to think about this is cord up, cord down, cord up, cord down. So I'm going cord up to go away from my face, okay? and then I'm going cord down to go towards my face. So this curl is going to go towards my face and it's in the face frame. You'll wanna definitely make sure you um, think about if you want those going towards your face or away from your face as you're curling, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this next section. One trick is when you pull this section down, you can brush out the whole section first and then you don't have to worry about brushing each piece, okay? So last time I started um, regular, so this time I'm going to start cord down. And, and then I'll do cord up the next one, okay? So a lot of people, I noticed in the comments, everybody was saying you make it look so easy. Well, here's the trick, everybody. You can make it look easy too, just by learning the technique, okay? The technique is put your thumb behind the blue light, and then make sure you're starting with the guidelines to your head, to your head, then towards the mirror. So you can see time in the mirror when the guidelines are towards your head, okay? 
So that's, once you get that technique, it's like riding a bike. You just go for it. And it's real easy. And you get faster and faster as you go on a bike, right? Oh, I never got that analogy before. <laughs> that's like an aha moment for me. Thank you, Oprah, for the aha moment, too. That is such a great saying. Does anyone else use aha moment? I just love that saying. Kendrick, you use it all the time, don't you? Yes. Yeah, yes, aha moment. <laughs> He's almost as obsessed with Oprah as I was. <clears throat> oh, it's sad that you have to say was, because Oprah isn't on air anymore, but... Or is she? Does she? Does, she does Oprah, Oprah have a show? Well, she has the Oprah network. I know she has a I network. Like I just didn't know she had a show. I, I loved her master's classes, too. Okay. So I've got my section. I'm trying to find where I stopped curling. Okay. So, and for those of you who are wondering how to curl the back of my head, this is back of my head. Okay. I've curled some in the back, but this is still, I would consider the back like front. And then I'm going from way back here. Okay. So all you have to do is when you put the hair in, make sure you rotate right away and stay close to your head. See how close I'm staying to my head? And then one more thing I want you guys to know is that you can really speed up when you get to the end, okay? Your ends don't need as much time being heated because they're just used to being curled. I, I don't know how to explain that. It's like it's almost like the more damaged hair is, which I don't want to say damaged because I don't want you to think like, I need to damage my hair for it to curl, right? But, you know, just the more skilled the hair is right hair hair is lived longer so the hair that is lived longer on your head um that that hair takes curl easier so you don't have to heat it as long I'm trying to think of a good way to put that but i think that was okay hair that's lived longer it's not really alive but you know what i mean don't take me too serious on that one okay but just get the gist of what i'm trying to say there <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, so yeah, speed up on the ends. We want to keep your ends healthy. And speaking of healthy, can we talk about the tension thing yet? Is that allowed? <laughs> I have a tension question that I want to bring up to you guys. Do we have a winner for the other one? We do. Oh. Are we doing winners all at the end this time? Uh, what, they, what should we do? They announced the winner. Oh, they did? Yeah. They, for the they did it time. before me? <laughs> <laughs> Tricky. Jaquel. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yeah, tell me who won then, if we already know. Leslie Bruning. Leslie. And Welcome to the zip time world. You're going to love it here. Andrea. Send us pictures of how you use it, please. <laughs> yeah, we love we, we love seeing what. Stuff. Yes, we do. We love seeing what people are doing with their zip time bag, just like we love seeing what you do with your curling irons. I just, I seriously, you guys, I love, love, love seeing your selfies and showing like all the cool moments you created. Who sent that awesome picture with her and her son? I think it was her son. Mm -hmm. Like, remember that adorable picture the other day with the girl in the really long blonde hair? It was really cute. Anyway, we really enjoy your selfies, so please keep sending them. I really enjoy knowing that this helped somebody in their lives. <laughs> I didn't create it for just myself. I created it for other people to have awesome style. So, show us your show us your awesome styles. Speaking of my comb over. <laughs> Don't you love my comb over today? It looks funny as I'm curling my hair. Also, this seems like one of the longer styles, right? Like this Oh, by far. Of... This is, okay, so normally my style takes me somewhere between, you know, I, I mean, I can, at a really fast hairstyle, I can do three minutes, but um, ones that take me a little longer go up to like eight to ten, usually. And like, if I'm really, really going for a night out, it's usually, you know, I can hit a ten to twelve minute. <laughs> but this one is like really detailed and you're changing angles a lot, so, okay. So one thing I really want to address in this, so I've been, you know, speaking with girls who, you know, and, and I actually learned this with Jenny too, uh, and a couple of girls, who else said it? Savannah. So Savannah's one of our style time teachers, and she was on yesterday because we did a live in the UK because we're international now, which is so exciting from our little town in Iowa. Um, so Savannah was on with me yesterday, and her and Jenny were talking about how surprised they are at how little tension you can use. And I cannot emphasize enough how lightly I want you to be, when I say tension, somebody tell me what tension is about, okay? So that's a question. Um, I want, I'm going to address tension now, but I want you guys to describe it, okay? So describe what you think we're talking about when we say tension. So I want you to use as little tension as possible because 
the more tension you use, the more heat you are using. The less tension you use, the less heat you are using. So when you don't have any, oh, I gotta wait for you guys to give me the answer. What am I talking about? What is tension? Because I've had a couple of people ask me, what, what do I mean when I'm talking about tension? And I'll address it when we announce the winner. How about that? Okay, so one thing about these curls, why I'm doing them like back and forth, like why I'm changing from curling to my face and then away is because I want big hair today. And big hair tends to, like curls tend to get bigger for me. And, and you know, there's a bunch of different big hairstyles, but this is just the one I chose for today. And what you can do with this is when you turn your curls like this, they have a tendency to not merge together. So has everyone experienced like the sausage roll curl? The sausage roll curl is so funny. Kendrick, you don't know about the sausage roll curl, do you? <laughs> Are you kidding me? My life is centered around curls. Of course I know. Okay, you know, you know. But most guys don't know what a sausage roll curl consists of. But I think every girl does. Like where all your curls just merge into one big fat curl. And you're like, ah, oh, why didn't you just curl the whole thing together, right? Like, oh, it's so much work for nothing. So what you can do is change up your curl like this. Um, and then you'll have all kinds of different curls that don't want to merge together. They, they kind of like want to fight each other, but in the nicest way, prettiest way possible, they want to fight each other, okay? <laughs> so, so question, when should you curl towards your face instead of away? Do you want to alternate them, or how do you know which pieces to do in which direction? Yeah, so I start with one and then just rotate. I, I'm doing back, for, back and forth, back and forth. So away from my face, then towards my face, then away and then towards, because um, well, I don't know why I do that. I just think it, it will really stack them better that way. But there are certain places on my head, like now that I'm getting to the top, which is what I really wanted to do for you guys, is I wanted to show like how curling towards your face. So when I curl towards my face, you see what happens? It doesn't get as big here. So if you have like um, areas where you might want more volume, you'll want to curl out and away. And and maybe it's your technique, maybe the technique changes for you, right? But for me, it out and away seems to fill the space better than um, towards my face. Then it gets more lean on me, okay? So I'm going to do this one away from my face and show you how it can fill. Because I like this area to be more full right here because I have a lot of hair in the front and I don't know what happens in the back, but it's not as full right here. So I want that to be more out and filling that space. And I'll show you at the end, I'll do some detail curling probably, and we'll, we'll make those spaces even more full, okay? And then someone wants to know, should you use hairspray with these curls, and how do you get your curls to stay, meaning which products do you use? Okay. Yeah, if you want so, products to use. All right, so I'm going to tell you how I prep my hair today. What did I do? I did back, now I'm gonna do forward. Sorry, I'm keeping my pattern in here. Okay. So what I did to prep my hair today was I did um, our upstaged thermal protectant and I sprayed that in before I blow dried, okay? I like a thermal protectant to be in and dispersed really well, so I like to do it before I blow dry. You can do it other ways. I mean, obviously you have to follow the instructions of your particular thermal protectant, which by the way, please do research on your thermal protectant. There are some that I'm really not impressed with. I've, we've had some experience with, with them and I just really am not impressed with certain thermal protectants. I Ask will, us. I will not, I will not say which ones I don't like, but we will tell you which ones we do like. Okay. Cause I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of negative stuff. So I just want to tell you what we do like instead of what we don't. So, um, Yes, just please research how, how good your thermal protectant is, okay? And, and please don't put oil in your hair right before you curl. I think of it like putting cooking oil in a pan before. It just doesn't seem like something I want to do with. But I love, you know, the oils after. I think they're, they can be gorgeous in what they can do for people's hair. But just be careful about using them before. They're asking about our protectant. We don't have it out yet. Okay, yeah, the, the thermal protectant is not out yet, but I, I, you know, what I love about it is that it creates a lot of body and volume, but it still leaves your hair feeling silky and 
and it and it's shiny and it also helps at improving your hair's health. So I wanted I wanted multitasking products. So I really worked on making that thermal protectant really robust and and uh, I wanted to call it overachiever, but there was already an overachiever out there in the world. So it became upstaged, which I also love because we want to upstage other people's hair. <laughs> kind of. Not our friends, though. We want our friends to look amazing as us. <laughs> okay. So do we have any answers? Or are we... Oh, no. We're waiting till the end? No. We're ready. One, one winner you didn't announce yet Okay. Is Brianna Rose. Brianna Rose. Oh, that's cute. It reminds me of Rose from Titanic. Jack, Rose, Jack, Rose. The whole end of the movie. Rose, Jack, Jack, Rose. It's really like that. I'm serious. If you watch it again, you'll see. Does anyone remember that? I mean, it was really funny. Rose, Jack, Rose. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, there we go. That was so sad, though. I mean, I was seriously bald like a baby. I'm not even kidding. Okay. So sad. So like Titanic. Let's talk about happy subjects. Let's talk about, Let's talk about big hair. Woo! All right. So it's getting very big. Do you see how it's growing? It's awesome. Okay. So one thing I want to tell you guys about these curls is um, these, like I love brushed out curls, but since these curls like move against each other, brushing them out is not maybe the best idea. And if you do brush them out, like make it on like a day two or day three maybe because they just... Unless, I mean, it all depends on what look you're going for, but just know what you're doing when you're going to try brushing them out, okay? Because I tried it, like, I think earlier in the week I was trying this style for you guys, and uh, I brushed them out. My hair looked a little bit funny, but when I put a hat on, it looked awesome. It was really cool when I put on my uh, Love Your Melon hat because it came in the mail. So cool. Okay, so what else do we have going on? What else do we want to talk about we today? We want to talk about our hairspray. Oh, our hairspray. I, I need my hands to teach you guys or show you guys about that. Um, what? Oh, I wanted to talk about the blow dry prep that I did for this. Okay, so I put in the thermal protectant and then I did a blow dry. So for big hair, I do a different blow dry than when I'm looking for a lean, um, beachy wave. Okay, so I did a rough blowout. And the difference between a rough blowout and a lean blowout is in essence like how, what direction you're blowing the hair in, okay? So when like you could work more upside down and kind of use the blow dryer. Can I see the blow dryer actually? And then I'll, I'll show you um, a little bit about blowing it out in a smooth direction versus rough. And by the way, so somebody said chokers aren't in, and I was out of style, and I swear they're in. I even saw Taylor Swift say um, chokers are the new black. <laughs> she did. Her and a bunch of other people, they had it. So I think chokers are in. I'm sorry if it offended somebody. Okay, so the difference. Okay, when you're blow drying a rough blow dry, I move it more, and I will displace the hair from where I want it to lay more. Okay, so this would be more of a rough blow dry. When I want a smooth blow dry, it's more like blow drying in the direction of where you're going because it will lay the cuticle down. Cuticle is like a big word in hair and we'll teach you more about it as these progress, as these time lives <laughs> progress, as we um, get you more well versed in hair and teach you what we think can help you achieve your styles, okay? So we'll talk more about cuticles in the future. That's like a whole other gamut, a whole other ball game even. Okay. Oh yes. Don't forget to thank a veteran today. Thank you, Grandpa Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yes, Veterans Day, big deal. All the servicemen out there doing awesome things for our country. Oh, and yes, women. of course women. Duh, hashtag girl power. I'm all about that. I, I mean, I love strong men too, and I love strong women, but I just want, I love both. I love both. I'm an equal opportunity lover. I love everything. <laughs> I feel like that guy on Peloton. Does anyone ride, one ride Peloton? He's always like, I'm just always in an awesome mood. It's good for you. Okay. What did I prep my hair with today? Oh, we already did that, right? 
Or is that a new question, Jenny? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what what is everyone's must have in a hairspray? What do you look for? What do you love in your hairspray? Tell us what it is so that we can uh, yeah learn about what you love in a hairspray. I love lots of hold in mine without it being too sticky. That's a big pet peeve of mine. I don't like sticky helmet hair. Do you guys like sticky helmet hair? I, I'm not sure that I love that in a hairspray. So we'll see what you guys think. Stephanie says someone would like tips for big hair with short hair. Big hair with short hair. Okay, so follow a lot of these same principles, and it kind of depends on which uh, which one you're doing. But you know what I love on short hair is big sections. I like big, huge sections because I think it makes your hair look more full. And of course, that kind of applies to thin hair more than short hair necessarily, right, Jenny? I think. Yeah. Yeah, because when we curl yours in like really big sections, it makes her hair look really full. And awesome okay so now we've got lots of big curls going on and I am NOT going to brush them out today because I want it to be real separated and big let's see I still feel like it's a little lean here let me get it a little different sometimes it takes me a minute to get it like in place after I curl it I usually have to do a couple touch-ups or something especially when you're having a date night we're going to uh, our friend's furniture store party. <laughs> it's so awesome. The things we do in Iowa, you just Big never town, just Iowa never stuff. know. You just never know. It's, it's so fun, fun though. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you could not have as much fun as we do. You can. You can. Yeah. You can you can you can do it. I believe in you to have fun, fun, fun. Okay. We just have a lot of friends that just love having fun. They're all joking, goofy, joking, seabirdings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so, all right, this is big hair. If you want to go in, if you feel like places are feeling flat or not feeling exactly right, you can go in and pick up, you know, small pieces. Another thing that really helps is after you've gone through a curl, right? So this curl is curling, uh, what way is this curling? This is curling away from my face. So watch what I do to pick up this curl and I go in the valley and I leave it out, okay? So that can pick up the curls. Did you guys all catch what I did there? I was surprised at how savvy people were about catching what we were doing yesterday about tipping the iron different directions. Okay, so do you see how that can pick up the sides and really, you know, uh, pick up the sides, pick up the top of the curl and really fill that out, okay? So I love to do that and pick up curls and, and touch them up. So this one's a forward curl. So I just go in, and I, as always, I don't like you to go over too much of the hair, so drop it out when you catch the other part of the curl. And that just fills it out, like, because this side's looking a little bit formal right here, and more messy down here, so I like to pick up those curls too, and just really um, separate them and get some big curls. There's some in the back that aren't done. Right there. Oh, yeah. Up. I missed a spot. Here. Thanks. Okay. So, yeah, little brothers are for helping me. Oh, we won't tell them the water story when we were little. <laughs> okay, that's for another day. All right, so after this, okay, so how do you make your curls last? Making your curls last after you do this, a lot of it I always say has to do with the foundation you put in. So what you start with from your shampoo and conditioner affects how long your curls last. Your hair type affects how your curls last. And so does what you put in after. Because some oils and things like that can weigh down curl. So you want to make sure you don't weigh down your curl after putting in all the work to curl it, right? So just be cognizant. And do like little tester pieces on your down days, you know? Or like say you did your curls really good today and tomorrow you're not doing much. Well, then do tester pieces to see if like an oil that you're using will weigh it down or if a hairspray that you're using will weigh it down or you know all those kinds of things pay attention to what you're putting in those are all little factors that can really make your style either last or not last so we want to make sure that we don't put in all this work to make it not last right okay so one more curl would you have a winner
So we have a winner. So okay. we're gonna address the tension. Okay. So key key factor is do are we gonna read their answer for what they said for tension or am I just gonna talk about it? Okay, you're gonna talk, I don't have their answer yet. Okay. So this. tension is don't put too much pressure on it, okay? So what we did is we made this iron to work off of heating and cooling the hair. Wow, I kind of look like a mess right now, but it's because my sleeves were going over and I'll adjust it in a second. So when you put too much pressure on it or too much tension, you heat it more, okay? You don't need to put pressure or tension on this. It works on heating and then cooling. So when you run on the back side, it cools it, and that's actually what creates your curl, not pressure and tension, okay? So make sure, I don't, it, when you're using it, just use less. Whatever you're doing, try less and see if you can get better curls because the less pressure I put on it, the more full my curl gets, the better my curl lasts, and the more healthy my hair is with it because I curl, with my, I curl my hair a ton with this. And you can keep it healthy, you just have to know what to do to do that. So tension is the key. And if you, you know, if you have any questions about whether you, know, you have the tension right or not, you can sign up for a FaceTime session. We're always here to help you. And let me go ahead and spray my hair. Oh, nope, not with this one. Uh -huh. Our new bottles came in, isn't it exciting? They're not filled yet, but I'm so excited about this bottle. I just wanna use it, so exciting. Wait till you try the hairspray, it's so cool. It's got everything I've ever wanted in the hairspray. <laughs> it's so great. Lots of memory and hold. Okay, so do we have an iron winner? We do. Great. Do you wanna name the other two as a time winner? Yes, right? let's do that. Okay, Jennifer Gildner. Jennifer Gildner is one iron, or uh, one zip time winner, I'm sorry. And Megan Henricks. Megan Henricks is a zip time winner. And bum, 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 bum. Courtney Threm. Courtney Threm is the big iron winner for big time hair. Big hair, big hair. Okay, so <laughs> big hair, don't care. It's Friday. We're going to go have fun. Okay, everybody direct message us so we can get you all to get taken care of. And then uh, let's see. What does that say? Also, do second day curls stay in longer? Do second day curls. Yeah, a lot of longer. girls were asking how, how long these curls last. These what curls will last me four, five days, depending on what I want them to look like and if I do touch-ups or not and when I'm going to wash my hair again. My curls will last until I wash my hair again, but I have done that foundation. You know, I have, I've, I've learned my foundation. I know exactly what works for me and, and I know what to put on after. And for me, I do not have to spray my curls, but if I spray them, they stay more separated. So it depends on your hair type. A lot of women have to use hairspray to make sure it stays and some women don't. It just kind of depends on your hair texture. So, and what you, how you prepped your hair, right? So if you used, uh, you know, a certain kind of iron, you might have to let the curls cool and other irons, they cool on their own. So you just have to make sure you know how you set your curls in and then what to do to prep and then what to do to follow up. And curls can last for days. For almost depending, anyone, depending I really think. On hair type, right? I don't know were, because well, no, Jenny's asking, curls. And that's what I was saying. Yeah. Like, explain it. Like, types. okay, so fine hair tends to not hold curl as well. And I think it's because it retains moisture more, but that's just a theory of mine. That's not like a fact. I'm just, it's just from my experience and watching like how much steam comes out um, from fine hair versus thick hair. Thick hair tends to have less steam. So I, I believe that it's because it doesn't retain as much water, but I, you know, that's just, it's just like a theory I have. I don't have a way to back that up yet. So, but what I do know is how hair does react. So the fine hair does not hold curl as well. And what usually you need to do is pin the curls up to let them cool in place because it, it's like hot longer. I feel like fine hair, you can touch it and you're like, oh, it kind of burns. Whereas mine, you can touch right after and it doesn't really feel as hot. So I think it just takes longer to cool. Um, so you have to know your hair type in order to know how to treat it, okay? So that's one of the things we're really working on. We're working on creating a system so that you can come, you can figure out what exactly your hair type is because you can have fine hair but a lot of it and you can have coarse hair and not as much of it, you know? So there's different factors playing in so we wanna educate you guys on all of the good things so that you can know exactly what to pick for your hair type and how to treat it. 
Okay, one more thing and then we will be done. Okay, this is a really amazing trick, okay? This trick is so cool and to get your curls shaping like you want. So there's a valley and a peak and a valley in a curl, okay? Peak, valley, peak. In the valley of the curl, if you push up to the peak and you push up to the peak, you can see how that creates this curl to be more defined and bigger, right? It gives it more volume. So like, I'm trying to find a curl that you might want to pick up and do that with. Okay, so here's, like, like this one looks undefined because I've got two curls tangled in there, okay? So let's move one curl and then we'll pick up the valley to peak and give it more body in the front. Oh geez, I missed, I missed it, the comb didn't work. Okay, there we go. So if you tease it wrong, you can create a mess, but if you do it just right, you can create like big, huge, you can make the curl a lot bigger. You can also use your fingertips to do that and that will also enhance curl, okay? And the other thing you can do is you can go in and back comb underneath so that you fill in places that don't look as big or like right here I get a separation so I'm going to go ahead and connect those together with backcombing and we've done this a couple weeks we have a whole lesson on backcombing if you're looking for that it's in uh, a couple weeks ago and we can find that for you if you need it okay so you can backcomb in and make that all bigger um, and now I'd probably spray in hairspray but since my bottle doesn't quite I'm not gonna do that but you guys can do whatever you want so I hope you enjoyed big hair let me turn so you can see how the curls are shaping and for me it always looks better like 10 minutes later so if I could stay on with you for another 10 minutes I think you'd really love it but I'm liking how it's coming together right now it's a lot it's different for me and I like big hair too so I hope you guys enjoyed big hair we don't know exactly what we're doing next week it might be a huge surprise for you guys because we're waiting for one certain thing to come in so if that comes in we're gonna have a really fun educational video for you next week so happy Friday everybody bye